New at 6 tonight, we are learning what went on behind the scenes as jurors deliberated the fate of Kissimmee cop killer Everett Miller. Late last year, jurors convicted the retired Marine in the murders of Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard, then recommended the death penalty. Channel Line's Jeff Deal spoke with one of the jurors about that decision today. Well, the juror said from the evidence, it was clear Everett Miller was guilty of murdering these two police officers. There was very little debate about that. And she said only one juror expressed any hesitation about voting for the death penalty. In the Everett Miller trial, juror number 35. It was nerve-wracking, actually, because you know someone's life is on the line and you know the families are sitting there. Ultimately, she and 11 others convicted Miller for the murders of Kissimmee police officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard, then unanimously recommended the death penalty. He took two people's lives and law enforcement lives for no reason. Today, she shared what went on in the jury room. But the actual murders themselves, I don't think there was any doubt in anybody's mind. She said convicting him for the murders was easy. Jurors felt even the defense team knew he was guilty. There was more arguing about lesser crimes like resisting arrest. But for many, she says, deciding on death was even easier. Just, you know, through the whole trial, he showed no remorse. The only time he showed any emotion was anything about him. During an initial vote, she says it was 11 to 1 in favor of death. One juror needed to process the information before she could sentence Miller to death. After some discussion and debate, that juror asked the judge for time alone to pray. She actually wanted to just go in a room just so she could collect her thoughts. Um, she wasn't against the death penalty. In the end, juror number 35 told me they believe the retired Marine thrived in a structured environment and would thrive in prison. They felt he deserved to suffer and the death penalty was most appropriate for what he did. He put himself there, yeah. ultimately, but we all decided as a group that it was the best punishment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. I cried. I, I, you know, everyone, you know, tears are flowing. After the death penalty recommendation was made here at the courthouse, Miller's defense wanted to question all of the jurors because they felt that a juror could have been bullied during deliberations. Juror number 35 said there was no bullying. In fact, she felt insulted when she heard this issue was raised. Reporting at the Osceola County Courthouse, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.